guys, welcome to my new video. In today's video, we are going to hack multi endpoint race condition lab from Web Security Academy and powered by Portswager. So guys, in this lab, there is a business flow that contains a race condition that enable us to buy an item with a very cheap price. So our mission is very easy. All what we have to do is to buy this jacket and using these credentials of Winner and Peter. And as you can see guys, I'm using a perp suit version of 2023.9.1 and it's very recommended version to do a raise condition attacks. So guys, if you have out of date version, all what you have to do is to watch my video. You will find the link below and you will see how to update your perp suit. And before going to hack guys, we have some tips in here that it recommend us to buy a gift card for a test. So this is what we are going to do. So without further ado, let's go and hack. And here we go guys. So the first thing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect as a winner, Peter. So let's go to my account. And here we go, let me use a winner and password of Peter. Let me close this one, I don't need to save any credentials and as you can see guys I have a credit of $100 and in here I have a functionality of gift card so let's go to the home as a recommendation I'm going to add a gift card so let's go to view details and this is recommended because we can refund these $10 and before going to add it to the card let me activate foxy proxy and I'm choosing Community Edition. Let's go to Proxy in here and double click to intercept and go to HTTPS3. So now I'm able to add the gift card. And here we go. So this is the post method to add this gift card. So let me see it. And here we go. It has a 92 and redirection to product. It means this page and the quantity number one. So let me send it to repeater and now let me go to my basket. So this is the item that I'm going to buy and now let me buy it. And as you can see guys, now I have this checkout post and let me send it to repeater and here we go. Let me close this one and let me see. So this is the code of refund the $10. So let me try it. Let me go to my account and here we go. So this is it. Let me copy it and let me paste it in here. And here we go. Now I refund my $10. So the gift card is really a good choice to test these endpoints. So now I have them in here. Let me rename them. So the first one is add gift card. And the second one is the check is the checkout and here we go so now let me looking for my target let's go in home and this is the light jacket so let me add it to my basket let me click add and here we go so let me see it in proxy so this is it so this is the item let me send it to repeater so before remove it, let me test this functionality. Let's go to repeater and let's go to checkout and let's send. And as you can see guys, it took some times. And in here it took about 629 milliseconds. And this is a really good sign for us that this functionality can has a vulnerability of race condition. So let me assume what this endpoint doing in the backend. So what he's going to do, first he's going to take all the items and calculate the price and make comparison with the total price with my credit. And if I'm able to buy the item, it will move to confirm it. So in this transaction between confirmation and verification of the total price with my credit, I will try to add this jacket and try to confirm it with the checkout. So let me rename it and call it add jacket. And here we go. So let me remove this item. Definitely I don't have the soul to buy it. And let me add this gift card. 
Now let me refresh to verify. And here we go. So now I have $10 and my purpose is to buy this jacket with only $10. So what I'm going to do, I will try to make a collagen request between these two requests. So first, let's go to create tab group. Let me call it raise window. And I'm going to select checkout and add jacket. And I'm going to choose the color of red because it's my favorite. And here we go. So now what I'm going to try so I'm going to double this ad jacket request. So let's say send repeater and let me put it just first of the checkout and let me rename it also it's ad jacket. And here we go. And now let me do the single packet attack and let's send. And here we go guys, I solved the lab. So let me see what just happened in here. So in the checkout, let me go to the render and see what just happened. And here we go guys. So now I do have two indicators that this checkout works successfully. So the one of them is that the, this gift card, it returns me a specific code. And as you can see, I found my gift card code in here. And the second sign is my total credit. And as you can see, now I have a negative credit, which means I bought these two items with only $100 that I had in my credit. And here we go, guys. I hope that you learned something new. I hope that you learned how to do a race condition attack. So guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. And if you have any question, you can put it in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next videos.